I'm going to show a quick preview on how to complete this assignment. You will see that on the top left, each page has a concept. This concept is adding decimals. Every page will have a word search and an end scramble the words. Down below there will be like a puzzle activity or a fill in where it will have question marks and you have to type in the answer. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at real quick how to do the word search. So you will see a drag items box over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this line and I'm going to move it over. And I'm going to look for a word. So here I see point. I'm going to go to the blue circle and I'm going to move that down so that it is now vertical. And I am over the, the, uh, the word point. And I'm going to go and take this X and I'm going to move it over point so that I know that I have already found the word point. You will do this for all of the rest of the words. Um, I have enough lines to where you can just keep using all of these lines. Now going over to the unscramble the words, you can see the red question marks, which again means that you are going to be typing in there. So I can unscramble this and see that this says place value. So I'm going to type place value. Again, you're going to do this for all of the other words. Okay, and then down below you can see this is an activity where you have to type in your answer. So I would look over here and say, okay, uh, here's my receipt. Make sure you read the directions and then you'll see I need to type in the amount for a muffin, a waffle, um, a coffee, add that up and give me the total. So again, you are adding decimals, okay? Now I'm going to move on through the other ones pretty quick so that you can see that they're very similar. Uh, word search, unscramble the words, and then the activity on the bottom for subtracting decimals. Here I'm multiplying decimals. Now this is a, one of the first ones that has a puzzle. And if there's a puzzle, you'll see the puzzle piece right here underneath drag items. So you're going to take this and you're going to drag it under wherever it goes. Okay? It says drag here. There's six of them, so you will move this over and you will drag it somewhere, okay? I'm not saying this is the answer, but I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to drag it over here just so you can see. There I placed it. Again, that is not the answer, but I'm just showing you that you can drag it under there, okay? And once I move it, you can see the other puzzle piece right here. So there should be six puzzle pieces. So you can see if I move them, I have six puzzle pieces. Now, if you on accident delete one of the puzzle pieces, I have extra puzzle pieces on the very bottom. It's on page 37, and I will show you that once I get to that. Um, but let's go ahead and move through this. So dividing decimals, puzzle piece. Um, number five, puzzle piece. You're actually moving to, uh, in the sequence, what happens first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Okay, moving on. Page 6, I am filling in a table. This one is on exponents. I'm going to give the base, exponent, expanded notation, standard notation, and there are four different examples on there. And then going on, page 7, um, this one is another puzzle. You're going to bring that down. Here's a puzzle. Bring that down. Another puzzle puzzle. You can see I'm going to move through these quickly so that the video is not too long. Lots of puzzles. Uh, the puzzles are nice because they're self-assessing. If you don't see your answer, you need to check your work. Um, also for this one, this is a maze. You're going to go through and try to finish the maze from the input to the output. Uh, calculate how many ones you pass. You will take that and that will be your X. So you're going to evaluate this function by plugging it in for X. Okay, moving on, another puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. Here you're combining like terms around the circle right here, and then uh, combine all the terms, and you are going to uh, write your answer inside the oval right here. Okay, moving on. Next one, you are given an expression you need to distribute for step one and type in your answer right here. After you distribute, step two is combine like terms. So you will combine it right there. 
Okay, 24, you are puzzle. Another puzzle, you can see you move, drag those. Uh, 26 is a puzzle. 27, you are actually going to fill in your answer by typing it for area of composite fi uh, figures. 28, puzzle. 29, puzzle. 30 is a puzzle. We're getting close to the bottom. 31 is uh, actually you're going to drag points. So A right here says 3, 2. And I'm grabbing A and I'm moving over 3 to the right and up 2. And I plot that point. And then I will come back here and do the same with B. Once I'm done plotting A, B, C, and D, I will determine what the area is of that resulting figure. And then I'm going to go on to number 2 and plot E, F, and G and determine the area of that resulting figure. Page 32, you can see here I have a table. Now what I'm going to do is give the tally, the frequency, and then also make a dot plot. So I will bring down, this is used for the tally, so that's why it says use for tally. You'll bring that down and um, the circle will be used for your dot plot. Okay, 33 puzzle. 34 puzzle, 35 puzzle, 36 puzzle, and that is it. And then, uh, like I said earlier, 37 through 40 is extra puzzle pieces. So if you delete a puzzle piece on accident, you can come over here and you can look for the page. So if you're on, for example, page 34 and you delete one of these, you will look for page 34. You can see this is goes up to 15, 26, Here's 34. I will. I can move these to find out which one I deleted. So let's say I deleted on accident the 9. So I can right click and hit copy or I can also put control C and copy it. I will go to that page. I can right click and hit paste or I can put control V and that will also paste it. And then I can move that wherever it goes. Okay. I hope you like this activity. Go ahead and get started on it.